Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm in the kitchen a whole lot later than I usually am when I'm talking to you, but I'm gonna do something different and new to me. I've been watching uh, videos on how to use my bread machine and what's the best way to do the whole wheat bread. I had showed y'all my Azure haul where I got my whole wheat berries, the hard red and the hard white. Well, I've got them in buckets. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to use two cups of hard white and one cup of hard red wheat. Then we'll go over to my whisper meal, which I've had since 1999, and we'll grind the wheat. And then I'm going to do what they uh, call a sponge. And I'm going to mix the wheat with the yeast, the gluten, the water, and let it sit overnight and let that wheat absorb the moisture and the the process is supposed to um, help the gluten to form in the in the flour and that way when the yeast starts making the bread rise the gluten makes it stretch and you'll have a lofty loaf of bread so I'm going to do this um, sponge and I'm you can do it for 20 or 30 minutes I'm going to let mine sit out overnight on the counter and then in the morning We'll uh, add all the rest of the ingredients into the bread machine. In a couple hours after that, I should have uh, a loaf of good whole wheat bread that's not so heavy and dense like a brick. Now, I haven't made whole wheat bread in my uh, bread machine yet, so if it turns out good, we'll all clap our hands and dance a happy dance, and if it turns out bad, I'll be honest about it, and then we'll try something else. But let's get over here and get the wheat all ground up into flour where I can get the sponge going so I can go to bed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the machine on and then I'll put my wheat in and it'll go over in. It has a little pipe here. If you can see this little pipe right here that you hook in and it'll blow the flour over into this container and then I'll take this and put it in my bowl and add the water and everything and make my sponge. So I'm going to go over there and dip out my wheat and I'll be right back. Okay this may be loud so I'm not going to try to talk. I'm just going to complete this process. For every cup of grain uh, it's supposed to give me a cup and a half of flour. So I need four and a half cups total, so I'm going to do three cups of grain. And what I've done, I've just mixed my white and my red in here together. I was kind of mixing them up with my hand. So let's see what we got here. To let it uh, run a little bit after all the grain is out to clean the burrs. So now we're going to uh, see what we've got over here in the the bowl where the wheat is, the flour is. And there we have our whole. Well, y'all can't see. I don't have much good light in here. There's my flour. You can tell that some of it's more red than the other. And this is, um, I'm going to measure it and be sure that I've got my right amount of cups in there. Okay, to make my sponge, I'm going to need two cups of my flour. And I'm going to need um, one teaspoon of vital wheat gluten. Okay, there's my gluten. 
And I'm going to need one, uh, let's see, two tablespoons of less lecithin. And this is soy. And this helps with the uh, process of uh, the gluten. I ordered this from Amazon. Can you see it's soy? It, I'm sorry because it's not and you can't see as well. I'm going to need a tablespoon of yeast. And this is that yeast that's a little bit older, so I'm going to put just a tad more. And I'm just going to blend all of this. Now this is only part of the, the flour. We'll put the rest of it in tomorrow. I'll put this in the bottom of my um, bread machine, and then I'll add the other ingredients like I usually do. But this is uh, called sponging. Then you add all of your water, which was a cup and a half, and I'm just going to mix all of this. You, they said on the side that I was looking at that you can just let it set out for 15 minutes, but I'm or overnight. So I'm going to let mine sponge overnight. And I'm going to get me a spatula and get that smoothed down some. I made whole wheat bread, ground my own, and then I got out of the habit. But when I was listening to Sue Becker over at Bread Becker's, and she was talking about all of the benefits of the whole grain, and the different things that it'll help. I'm telling you, I was super impressed. So I'm going to put it to the test. I'm going to start trying to use my whole grains in just about everything and see how we come out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover this with a towel. I'm going to let it set out tonight. And when I get up in the morning, I'll put the rest of my ingredients in, which will be a third of a cup of oil, a third of a cup of honey, and eggs stirred up in that, a teaspoon of salt, and then I'll need my other two and a half cups of flour. And I'll just set my zojirushi and let it go and make my bread. So I'll see y'all back in the morning. Okay, good morning, y'all. I wanted to show you what the sponge looks like. See, it has a different different texture to it. So what I'm going to do is put it in to the bread bowl first. And I know it's going to need it, but I'm going to scooch it around a little bit myself. Then I need to add my, uh, I'm going to add my third of a cup of oil and third of a cup of honey. Put your oil in first and then your honey, your honey will uh, slide right out. And I'm adding one egg. A teaspoon of salt, if I can get it open, and I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm going to add the rest of my flour, which is another two and a half cups, because I used two cups in my sponge. And I'm going to put this into my Zazarushi bread machine and turn it on and let it make me a loaf of bread in a little over two hours. Okay, I've got it in my machine. I've got it set on my homemade setting and the setting that the people at Bread Becker's recommended. And I'm going to punch start. And it'll, they said it'll take two hours and 33 minutes.
and it should be done my time 11.50. I'll bring y'all back and show you a loaf of bread after a while. When the bread starts uh, the last, I think it's 15 minutes, it gives you a countdown per minute. So our bread will be ready in nine minutes. And I'm going to see if you can see. See down in there? It's brown and pretty and risen so good. So it'll be coming out here in just a few minutes. Okay, I've got the bread out. And I've got to let it cool. I think I have an air bubble on the top. I may have to adjust my rise times because I've got it on the homemade cycle and you can adjust it and I set it like the girl on bread Becker's set hers so when it cools I'll cut into it and see what it looks like and I may have to make some adjustments but it sure does smell yummy it's still a little bit warm but I sliced it and it's a lot lighter than my whole wheat bread in the past has been so I think that making the sponge has made a tremendous difference in the texture of the bread I'm fixing to get some butter on it and taste of it, and I'll let y'all know about all that. Got me a piece all slathered down with Kerrygold, and I done took me one bite, two bites. This is my third one. That is so very good. And making that sponge, it's, it's not heavy like whole wheat bread is. Got a crumb down the throat. Got to get some tea. When I made um, whole wheat bread before, when I first got into all of this back in 99, I used my Bosch mixer to mix it, which I will do that again. I won't just do one loaf at a time. But this is so easy, just one loaf for us, because we only eat a loaf of bread a week. Usually there's some left. But um, that was so heavy because you went ahead and ground your wheat and made your bread, and it, this sponge makes all the difference in the world. So y'all need to try making the sponge and see if it makes your loaf of whole wheat bread um, lighter and fluffier, whether you're using a bread machine or whether you're doing it the traditional way. Now, if you do it with a, a mixer, the traditional way, make your sponge, put it in the bowl, add the rest of the ingredients, and then proceed just like you generally do to make your bread. I am very pleased with it and I will do this method every time because I like the texture of the bread. And I'm going to try to eat whole wheat every day because Sue Becker at the Bread Beckers, they, do, they are on YouTube, but they have stuff on Instagram too. So check them out. Bread, B-E-C-K-E-R-S. Um, she said it helps a whole lot of allergies and all kinds of stuff to eat the whole grain. So I'm going to try to get back to doing that to be healthier and see if it'll help my allergies. It cured her allergies. So I'm going to see if it helps mine. I've got a few more good things coming. Well, i got a whole bunch in my plans, but coming up pretty soon we'll have some more stuff. So y'all stay tuned. Be sure you're getting you a little few extra things for your pantry. So just in case our stores are shut down or, or the, the shipping is slower, Get you some stuff on your shelves where you can just stay home and not have to be out in the the fight to get stuff. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. See you again in a day or two.